So the new Prestiges are here. They feature Auxetic 2.0. So it's a new technology from Head, which brings Auxetic from the whole frame right through into the handle. So it's supposed to improve that connected feel on contact. They still feature the full cap technology in terms of the grommets, the box beam frame, and the elongated shaft, which is all the Prestige is about in terms of that classic feel and flex. Let's see what our play testers think about it. Hi guys, welcome to another All Things Tennis. A racket review. Today we've got all the head prestiges, the new range. We've had a few play testers who are going to come in and talk about what's so good about it, what they like, what they don't like, which one they prefer. So in the lineup we have four rackets. We have the Pro, we have the MPL, we have the MP and we have the Tour. So I just hit them all. Uh, my favourite straight away was the Tour. It's a bit more to what I say my specs is I like a 95 square inch head, which is what this is. 16, 19 pattern, so I get a bit of spin out of it. I think the single handed backhands would prefer this one. So, in the past, my favorite prestige has been the 93 square inch. I think they stopped doing it in the last season, they stopped doing it this season, which I think is a bit of a shame. I think, I think there still is a market for the small square inch, uh, smaller square inch head. I'd like to see that back in the line, but it's not out this time, maybe in the future. So, we've got all the rackets strung up in Headlinks Tour of 53 in black. I don't think it's the best string for this racket. I think I think this this racket does prefer a hybrid. I mean, if you really want to go there, I think it is a gut hybrid, gut in the mains, uh, poly in the crosses would be out, outstanding, or, or a softer poly just to get a bit more out of the racket. Uh, what I find hitting all of them was a lot of the balls were dropping short, which I wasn't a big fan of. And then if you try and add a bit more on, because there's a lack in a bit of spin, they were going a bit long, so you have to kind of find that me in the middle swing. When you let loose on it, it, it was pretty good. I mean, if you, if you can hit a tennis ball properly and well, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy these. They are good rackets. Little things about it that I do like. Love the graphite bit on the, on the, on the throat, sort of naked graphite that blends in. And the black bit up top, sort of a matted sort of black, which looks really good but again i do like what they're doing they are trying to, to move it on and progress the range i think that's been a problem for head for a few years now in terms of paint jobs progressing them on i think they've just switched colors and called it the, the speed or etc I, I think they could have done more with the designs of it but i like what they've done with this i, I do you've got the guard that goes all the way around again uh, as is on most prestiges but yeah just the basic like if, if you haven't hit a head prestige you should definitely try to hit it because it is a racket that does have a lot of history and they do say it's sort of have a, a cult following in the tennis world of these rackets. It was good to get out and see them and hit them. In a minute you'll hear what all the playtesters have to say as well. Uh, Rich's favourite was the Prestige Pro, formerly the MP. Yep. So a lot of people still get that confused uh, from a couple of generations ago. Uh, now you used to play with this racket. I did, yes. Yeah, so I had the red version. the MP. Yeah. Which was just the Graphene 360. Yeah. Okay. Um, how does this compare to that? Very, very similar, I must admit. Um, as soon as I picked it up, started to hit it with it, it, was, it just felt exactly the same. Uh, great feel off the racket, lovely control. I mean, these rackets are just probably some of the best control rackets that I've ever personally hit. What I was quite happy was that it was actually strung in the same string as I used to use it with. So it was a really, really good comparison between the two. But yeah, this one uh, definitely was up there with one of my favorite control rackets I've ever used. Okay. Um, what I did notice, it was definitely less spin. Yep. Them, um, they're my current racket, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely less spin. Um, a lot, you can fix things like that though with string. You can use a, a sharper, thinner string in the mains um, and uh, something a bit more greasy in the crosses, if you understand what that means with, with string. So it's a bit more, uh, so it's a bit more move, a bit more snap. You can fix that. Um, what do you think about the paint job? So it hasn't, it's been, it's, it's a Marmite racket. Yeah, um, I must admit the, the kind of like bare, kind of ra racket actually I think it looks really nice. I think that's I a re really yeah. nice touch. But then I must admit at the, at the start, I did think it actually looked all right. But now the more I've seen it, I'm not entirely sure on the paint job, I must admit. Yeah. Like if I looked at it like this, where I'm just I'm just seeing the frame and just a bit of the, uh, the, the Prestige logo, looks fantastic. As soon as I turn it around. If, you're gonna, if you like a Prestige, you're gonna get a Prestige. Yeah. You know, if you, if you like a, a spinny racket, forgiving racket, you probably wouldn't touch it. And that shows that, I mean, the MPL in most ranges is around 280 to 290 grams. The MPL in this one is 300 grams. So it shows you the sort of range that we're in. But it doesn't mean to say that not everyone can use it. They are mostly designed for for the player, like the player who wants precise angles, they want to know exactly where the ball is, they don't care about power, you can generate your own power. I think if you, if you use it for a long period of time, you will get better as a player, uh, because they do force you to hit the middle. Um, yeah. But so what, what was your favorite shot with it? 
Um, forehand, forehand. I just felt like I could read quite, quite precise with my shots. I must admit, some of the some of the forehands I was hitting, kind of really ripping the ball, trying to be aggressive as much as I can. Basically, trying to play almost like I did when I when I had these. And yeah, I could just absolutely nail it sometimes. But like you said, if you miss the middle, yeah. it just goes somewhere where you just do not expect. It is a very, very well, it's a player's racket, isn't it? It's, yeah. a de it's a demanding racket, which is one of the reasons why I actually switched away from it. Um, originally, I went from this to the head gravity. I love the, love the weight of these rackets, um, the 320 grams. But yeah, just because it was so such a demanding racket to play with. Um, if you're slightly, like, let's say, 1% off in terms of when you play in a match, you are going to notice it. It's going to seem like it's 20, 30%. If you have a bad day, it's going to be a bad day. Yes. Negatives? Um, Lack of power. Okay. It's definitely a, it's definitely a, a, a non-power racket. Which you, can help with, with which you can help with strings, yes. And obviously, if uh, what I used to do with these was I put a bit of lead tape at the top, just to give it a little bit more plow through. Um, did help a little bit, um, but again, like I said, like I said before, it's, it's just it's one of the most controlled rackets ever. But it is definitely on the I think on the scale of power, it's probably the least powerful racket in heads range. Yeah, I would I say agree. the pro especially. I agree. I tried all the range with Shai. Uh, Shai, your favourite was the MPL. Yeah. Just talk was... us through why that was your yeah. favourite. Yeah, I like the control with this racket. The speed was exactly how I like it. Like through the air. Yeah, okay. exactly, Perfect. exactly. The head, the head, I like the head. Yeah. It was very good. I enjoyed it. Okay, good. Um, serve. Yeah, serve. Serve was pretty powerful. Yeah. But I think maybe more control on the serve. But, but in the in the foreign back end it was like more more control. More than, control. Yeah. Did you come to the net much with it? Yeah, it was good. Good hands. Yeah. Like good when you hit in the middle, it's like very good volley. What do you think of the paint job? Yeah, I think I think it was like pretty good, but it's like strange because normally the heads are more like with colors, yeah. and now they, they change it. Yeah. So I like it. Why why did this one fit in? What was wrong? With I the think the uh, the pro and the toe was too too stiff. Too stiff. Yeah. And because of that, I think that when I hit, I, I sh like, di didn't feel the ball can go. I just hit the ball and so the ball, I like, just, short, yeah, exactly. A bit less power, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, well, thanks for that, Shai. Jake, your favorite was the? Prestige MP. And why was it? Uh, this one, I preferred a little bit more. It was a little bit closer to the, uh, to the weight that I use normally. Um, wasn't quite as stiff as the, uh, the other Prestige. The Prestige Tour that I tried um, was a bit looser could hit through it a bit more, nicer pop off the, off the serve and the return actually when, when connected well with it. So. Turn was good? Yeah, 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 it was all Plenty good. Any spin with it, do you think? Uh, not as much spin as I thought it was going to be, yeah. um, but still a decent amount. But when you connect it well with it, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good sound off the racket. What do you think of the paint job? It's, a, it's an interesting one, but you know, in this day and age, with all the variety of rackets, you've got to sometimes go a bit a bit rogue and a bit different to uh, to stand out, but no, it's personally not my one of my favourite colours, but yeah. it's, it is what it is. It sort of goes along with the Prestige line, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. Prestige has yeah. always been dark red, red, so it's sort of following that line which you can see and you can understand why they've gone for that colour. What would you say were the negatives about them? I think this one personally for me, just because it's a bit stiffer to what I use, the head is a bit stiffer, felt like sometimes putting in a bit, a bit more effort than needed to to get a bit more bite off the ball but that's just yeah this is just a head racket i'm used to using bablat so it's it's just a slight difference it's interesting talking stiffness because we've, we've had two people who use bablats have come up and said these feel a bit stiffer on paper these are actually a lot more flexible the string wise i think there's a lot of reason why people are saying they feel stiff as well because it is um Head links tour, which is getting quite a hard, stiff string. Yeah, it's quite a hard string yeah, when you it hit with it. It's yeah. not, you don't get much uh, feel off it. It's... I think if you're going to use this rack, especially for someone like Jake Vipas, you'd need a softer poly or a hybrid. I think these rackets are completely made for, um, say, like even a gut hybrid. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like definitely. Main, not. Um, yeah, you've got to have a bit of variety. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, again, um, it was a pleasure to hit with all the playtests today with these rackets. Um, I hope you enjoyed their thoughts. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with what they say and some of you will agree, so leave your comments down below. Um, but get out and try them, uh, give them a go. If, if you've got a prestige in the past, give it a go, see what you think. Um, not much more I can say. Thanks a lot.